Hi friends, my name is Natras. In this video, I am going to talk about how to create library in Eclipse Oxygen. What is need of creating library? So generally, we create a project and we try to add lot of jars. And we collect those jars from different, different places. We complete the project, we execute the application, we get the output. And we create another project. There also almost same jar files are required. Again, we will start searching, gathering from different, different places and we will do it. So, this kills our time. And Eclipse is an ID. It should simplify our life. It should not waste our time. That is why in Eclipse, they have given a provision called creating library having jars. And this library is specific to one workspace of the Eclipse. If we create a library in X workspace, in that workspace, we can use that library for any number of times. And good news is, in one Eclipse workspace, we can create multiple libraries. No doubt, we can create what? Multiple libraries. So, most, where is most useful one? Especially while working with frameworks here. Hibernate. Lot of jars will be there and most of you have to collect them from different, different places. Spring, lot of jars and some of those jars are there in spring framework installation and something you have to collect from outside. So, every time doing that work for every project is definitely what? Complex. So, that is why I would like to show how to create library in what? Eclipse IDE for spring frame, having spring framework jars. So, first of all, let me give clarity. APA means what? APA means, in Java, APA means set of packages having classes, interfaces, enums and annotations. Okay. Then, what about uh, APAs come in the form of jar files? So, jar files, libraries contains, libraries contain jar files. So, very simple, set of APIs together is called as what? Library. Generally, APIs will be there in the form of jar files. So, that is why libraries are nothing but what? Jars. Spring library means spring jars will be there. But one library can represent multiple jars. So, if we create one uh, library and you can use that library across the multiple projects so that we can save the time in the process of working with uh, Eclipse IDE. So, let us see how to create library having Spring Core Module jar files. So, let us start doing this work. So, this is my Eclipse IDE. First of all, I have to create one project. So, let me create a normal project. See, boss, if you go for Maven, Gradle kind of thing, these libraries are not required. When you do not want to use Maven and Gradle, then think about creating library to minimize the process of what? Arranging jars. If you go for Maven and Gradle, you just add some tags or you write some script automatically, what? Main and dependent jar files will be imported into what? Your project libraries. So, this should be used only when you do not want to work with what Maven or what Gradle kind of thing. I am creating one Java project. Let me say Spring IOC Pros 1, some name, do not worry, do not think that I am seriously developing application kind of thing. IOC Pros 1, say finish. Here, I need to add IOC library related jars. IOC library related what? Jars. So, for that purpose, let us see what I am doing. First, I will show without library what we do. Later, I will show how to create library so that we can, under, we can understand the importance or benefit of creating library. So, build path, configure build path, go to libraries, we will try to add all external jars. I think in my system, we have got in the desktop, we got spring framework extraction. So, here is our spring framework extraction, yes, LIBs. So, for core module application, we need beans, we need context, we need context support, 
we need core, we need expression, these are the phi jars and we also need one dependent jar that is common siphon login dot jar. It will not come with the spring framework installation, you have to download separately from what? Internet, you have to download separately from internet. So, I think already I downloaded, it is there in what? Downloads folder, what is that folder? Common siphon login dot jar, say apply, say ok. So, jars are ready, then we develop the application, we run the application. I want to create one more IOC module project, I mean it is a core module project. Again I have to repeat the process, I do not want to do this. First I will create library having all the jars, okay, so that I can reuse the library wherever I want. More importantly, while creating these libraries, we can attach source code and API documentation to jars also. We can attach source code and API documentation to what? Jar files also. So, let us see how to do that work. So, for that purpose, I prefer going for what? Let us see what I am doing. Create. Now, my requirement is what? Creating IOC library for having core module jar files, build path, configure build path. Since we decided to put everything in the library and we decided to add that library, first remove them, remove them. After this, go to add library. Now, I am creating a new library, add library. Go to user library, nice. Go to again user libraries. Then go to new. Here we have something called IOC library. Any name you can give. See, this is my name for the library, fine. So, select it, external jars and all put all the jars that you want to place in what? Uh, IOC library. So, I think uh, desktop, spring, that is cool. Go to lib folder and please remember, there is a name clash. You may choose wrong jars, okay. You choose the jar that contains dot class file. Do not choose Java doc and sources. Java doc contains API documentation, sources contains source code. But in the library, you have to add that jar that contains byte code, that means dot class file. So, that is why keep your eyes properly, be alert while choosing the jar. One jar here and there also problem may arise. So, I am going to choose Spring Boons, Spring Context, Context Support, Core Expression added and as usual I am going to add even select it, add external jars, okay. So, go to downloads, search for what? Common siphon login dot jar, okay. All the jars are added. But remember, while adding new jar file, please select the library name and click on add external. If you are there, this will not be activated. Please concentrate. Select the library, then only it allows us to add the new jar file. Okay, fine. I, I decided it even to link API documentation and source code. So, especially for this beans. Otherwise, let me do that work for um, core. Let me do that work for what core? Anything. If you want, you can attach for all the jars also, okay. That is not a big issue now. First, let me attach source code, source attachment. Uh, source code is there in your workspace location or outside, outside, fine. Path, where it is available, external file. Just now I explained, for every jar, we are getting three flavors, having byte code, having source code, having documentation. So, now, for this core jar file, there is a sources file or not? Yes, selected. Save OK. Source is attached for this jar. Next, Java doc location. Again, you are internet URL or no? Java doc in archive because Spring framework comes in the form of zip file. Zip file. In that zip file, we are going to choose the location of the documentation. External file or workspace file? Or external file. Archive path. Please remember, do, you have to choose the zip file that represents Spring Framework, not the extracted folder. Go to desktop. So, for making easy, in the desktop only, I kept zip file representing Spring Framework. Again, see this, I am not choosing 
extracted folder i am choosing the zip file the real zip file see the icon also right <laughs> then within the zip file you have to choose the location where api documentation is available where it is available docs java doc api nice doc java doc api this is the folder where java doc you can cross verify whether you have selected right one or wrong one validate it's saying that valid because packages list and index.html have been found see first i selected zip something framework software zip there i have chosen what location where java doc api folder is available okay that's nice done okay i'm asking to add this library to the project nice apply okay right see this now library is added along with the library jars are added or not definitely added so now let me check whether api documentation is attached or not attached for that purpose i don't do much i'll take one small package com dot nt dot test okay in that one i'll take a small class so i try to use spring api okay so now here or if you want you can use existing code also i'm taking class with main method okay that's nice class with main method so here i'll try to write one line what is that line you know resource res is equal to null control plus shift plus o which resource spring framework resource next what is this res is equal to what is next one file system resource i'm just trying to specify one dummy location i'm not saying really it is available kind of thing com slash nt slash cfg slash what is this application context dot xml file what dot xml file application context dot xml file so that's nice okay remaining code you can write like this but let me check we are getting api documentation just over the mouse on the class name happily we are getting api documentation or not because api documentation is attached to jars of the library and you just over the mouse on resource we are getting api documentation or not so what about getting source code hold the control key and over the mouse keep the mouse on the class name you will get hyperlink effect just click on it you will get a new tab and you will see you can see the source code very interesting or not that means you need not to open api documentation separately to get the help or you need not to open the sources uh, jar file separately to see the source code we can attach everything to what ide and we can get everything from what ide itself i have done only for core jar file if you want you can do this work for other jars also but let me show the real benefit that is there with what the real benefit that is there with creating libraries let us assume first project is successful and i decided to create one more project by taking another use case so for that purpose i created another project what is that project hey all these are dummy projects okay na no? i was a proz2 fine next finish nice so here also i need core module jars but you need not to search for each jar file separately what you can do you know right click build path add library user library earlier there was no libraries but right now we have one library right select that library okay apply done see this we got the jars not only jars so wherever we attached source code wherever we attached api documentation they also came what's the advantage of it you can focus more on business logic and main parts of the application you need not worry much about jars and moreover when you collect 10 jar from from different 10 different location after few days you may forget or you may feel heavy also remembering locations every time so if you feel this if you follow this process if you follow this process create library once and use it for a number of times generally what practice that industry will do you know for core module applications one jar 
for DAO module application, one jar. I am talking about a training level, corporate training level. MVC module application, one jar. So, do not think that it is only possible for Spring here. You can create this library for any framework, for any technology, for any libraries. I am in fact for any APIs. Okay? So, this is about working with what? Creating library in Eclix IDE having different API jars. Actually, I have shown for Spring, but you can keep any API in the libraries. But again, I am telling, use this concept when you are not interested to use Maven and Gradle. If you are really interested to use Maven and Gradle, this looks okay, unnecessarily kind of thing. Okay? So, thank you. Have a nice time.